What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be a little bit different from the past couple videos uh, that I have posted um, and it's actually because I recently started taking a new supplement. So I added a new supplement into my routine. I wanted to make a video on it kind of breaking down why I decided to take it, what the purpose is, what it does, how it works in the body um, and ultimately just kind of to educate people on this new supplement because it is something that is being promoted a ton right now um, just on the internet with people you know wanting to take as many supplements as they possibly can to reach their goals as fast as possible I want you guys to be as educated as possible and so I hope that you guys find this video very very helpful so let's just go ahead and get into it I put together this slideshow um, because I did want to make sure that I got all of the points across um, and encompassed everything that I wanted uh, to include. So pretty much the new supplement that I'm taking, just because I am taking it, does not mean that you have to or you even should take it. This is something that you should definitely do research on by yourself, not just watch this video and decide that you want to do what I'm doing because I'm doing it. You should never you should never do something just because somebody else is doing it. Put your own research into it, put your own thought into it and come to a conclusion for yourself. But first of all, before we get into the new supplement, I just wanna kinda reiterate everything that I've talked about in previous videos and break down all of the supplements that I am already taking. So for those of you guys don't that don't know, I am a natural bodybuilder, so I compete in the OCB. So I am drug tested, and what that means is that I cannot take anything that is banned by the OCB or on the official banned substance list for WADA, okay? So I am not allowed to take anything that is not natural. Um, and so first of all, the main supplement that I take is creatine. I take a little bit more than five grams per day uh, because it's in my Pump Daddy pre-workout uh, that I I take every single day and it is also uh, something that I take at lunch every single day with my meal. Uh, protein powder is something I take very, very consistently every single day. I also take a multivitamin just to cover all of my uh, micronutrient bases. Uh, I take vitamin D in surplus. I live in Montana because there's very little sunshine here. I take quercetin to help with absorbing the micronutrients uh, that ultimately are needed to help with my immune system function. Uh, I take extra vitamin C um, just for immune system function as well. I take a non-stem pre-workout that I mentioned. The one is called Pump Daddy. All of the supplements that I take are from Rise, R-Y-S-E. I'm a sponsored athlete by them. I take the non-stem pre because I am very sensitive to caffeine. I take a little bit of caffeine midday, usually in the form of something like a Diet Coke or a Diet Dr. Pepper, a very small amount of caffeine. But then I also take fish oil for the omega-3 fatty acids and I take zinc as well just for overall immune function. All right, so those are kind of the supplements that I have been using for the past eight years that I have been lifting. Okay, and now we're going to get into the new one um, that I am taking. So today, what I will be talking about is Tadalafil, okay? So Tadalafil is also known as Cialis. You'll hear it referred to as multiple different things um, on the internet. Um, but pretty much, if you look it up, there are, there's a pros and the cons list. So pretty much the pros to taking Cialis is that it lasts up to 36 hours for some people, which is longer than Viagra. So if you've heard of Viagra, Viagra is an erectile dysfunction medication and Cialis is very, very similar to that. Um, it can be taken as needed or on a daily, regular basis. Um, it allows for a mon more spontaneous sex life. We'll kind of get into uh, how that plays into my life as well. Um, it can be taken with or without food. Um, it helps your erections last longer so once again, helping in the bedroom. And then some people say that it makes their orgasms more intense. Uh, okay, so these are all of the pros. And just to kind of go through these, there aren't many pros on this list that I am looking for. Uh, because the truth is, if you watch my content, you may know that I am a virgin, I'm waiting till marriage, and I am not currently married. So I am not taking Tadalafil or Cialis for the benefits 
of the bedroom or your Johnson um, because obviously I am not partaking in that side of things. So when it comes to the cons that you can find just easily on the internet, it says that it can cause headaches and muscle aches. Uh, it must be swallowed whole, which is a kind of a weird con, but it can cause indigestion. It can make you appear flushed in the face um, and it is not available over the counter. And that is one thing that we are also going to get into. Um, so let's dive a little bit deeper into it. So the reason why I personally started taking Cialis uh, Tadalafil um, is not anything that you would have found in that pros or cons list just by typing it into the internet. The reason why I am taking it is because it supposedly helps a ton with pumps, okay? So pumps in the gym. When you're lifting and your muscles fill with blood and it feels amazing. And that's the reason why I started taking it because I am a mus massive, massive pump addict. I love getting ridiculous pumps in the gym. It's why I take my non-stim pump daddy pre-workout. I absolutely love it. And I also love cutting body fat and getting shredded, but the one thing that I can't stand about the fat loss process is the fact that when your glycogen stores are depleted, when you're not eating a lot of carbs, your workouts tend to go down in quality. You don't, it's really hard to get a pump. It's hard to get vascular. It's hard to feel really, really good when you're lifting. And I hate that because I love cutting. I love losing body fat. I love getting lean. But at the same time, you tend to lose pumps if you've ever gone through a dieting uh, or a dieting phase before where you're trying to cut body fat. So pretty much what I did was I made sure I said, hey, I want to test this on myself first before I tell anybody else that I'm taking it. I want to make sure that it works. Okay, so I got my hands on some uh, and I heard that taking Cialis in the moderate doses could cause the insane pumps. Um, and so I had to try it out for myself. So number one, I got it from a third party tested source. Okay, so you want quality sourcing. Number two, in order to test out this, um, this hypothesis to see if it actually caused insane pumps, I wanted to drop my calories. And I've been dieting for a bodybuilding show, so I actually dropped my calories, 700 calories, even lower than I normally do at this point in my prep. So normally at this point in my prep, I'm somewhere around the 32 to 3,500 calorie mark. I dropped my calories substantially down to about 2,700 calories, okay? So that's a lot lower than I normally do and decided that I would continue the fat loss process and see how my workouts were and if they were affected. So I took the five milligrams one and a half hours before my workout and then I also took my pump daddy like 15 minutes before my workout just like I normally did. So I'm still using my non-stim pre-workout that has L-citrulline that's working on a different pathway to cause vasodilation and help with my pumps but then at the same time I'm also taking this extra Cialis on top of it to see if it'll if we'll, if it will work well. So I maintain this for two solid weeks with my calories extremely low, so lower than I normally do, and then I analyze the results. And guys, honestly, the results have been astonishing. My pumps have been skin tearing. And I, when I tell you that I usually cut calories, I will immediately notice a difference in the quality of my pumps. I've been feeling super good in the gym. Energy level wise throughout the day, I can definitely tell that I am in a substantial deficit. But when I am in the gym, I basically walk in there, I do one set of the exercise that I'm supposed to be starting out with and I'm immediately pumped. Like it is the best feeling ever. And it is one of those things where is the pump actually going to help you build more muscle? No, probably not. But you know, having a good pump and mechanical tension, they tend to go together pretty well. But at the same time, just because you're not getting pumps doesn't mean you're not building muscle. Um, but the pump side of things is solely for enjoyment. I really do enjoy getting good pumps in the gym and that is why I absolutely like have loved taking this. It has honestly kind of blown my mind because I started this whole process thinking that it would probably be placebo and that it wouldn't have that big of an effect, but it has, it has surpassed my expectations by far. And I'm at the point now where it is indisputable that the Cialis is giving me absolutely insane pumps in the gym, which that's exactly why I started taking it in the first place for. Um, okay, so into the next slide. 
But Brandon, I thought you were natty. So this is one thing that I'm sure quite a few guys might be wondering out there if you don't know a whole lot about natural bodybuilding. But Cialis is actually not banned in natural bodybuilding, nor is it banned by WADA, okay? So it is it is not considered a performance enhancing drug and it still falls into the realm of natural. So I will still be able to take it while prepping for my natural bodybuilding show. You can go look at the OCB drug testing guidelines. You can go look at the WADA, um, banned substance list, you will not find Cialis on there because it's not considered a PED. And like I said, it's not going to help you build a whole bunch of extra muscle. It is just going to help with the pumps in the gym. And specifically in my case, while I'm in a deficit, that is helping out with the mental side of things a whole lot and making things a lot more enjoyable. All right. What does it do? How does it work? So I want to educate you guys as best as possible, like while we're doing this so that you, so I'm not just saying, Hey, it gives you better pumps and then leaving you with that information. I actually wanted to break down like what it's doing inside of your body and the pathway that it is operating on. So it is an enzyme inhibitor. Okay. So there's enzymes in your body. What it is doing is it's blocking a certain enzyme called PED five. Okay. So PED five is an enzyme that's responsible for breaking down CGMP. Okay. So PED five, breaks down CGMP. CGMP is what is responsible for vasodilation in the body. So the expansion of the blood vessels. When you have higher CGMP, you have higher levels of blood flow, okay? And then you're inhibiting that, um, if that makes sense. I mean, sorry, you're inhibiting the PDE5, um, which is helping increase your levels of CGMP. So PDE5 is found mostly in muscle tissue, including in your Johnson. So that's one of the reasons why it helps so much with erectile dysfunction. It's why men take Cialis um, to help them in the bedroom. It is because the PDE5 is an enzyme that is found in the muscle tissue of your Johnson as well. Um, and basically what this does is when you're inhibiting it, it's increasing the amount of CGMP and it's giving you insane pumps both in your muscles in the gym as well as in your Johnson. That is the chemical reason for why Cialis is working um, so well for me. And it can also slightly decrease your blood pressure. So that is one thing to for sure keep in mind. If you have extremely low blood pressure, this is probably not something that you wanna take, but you definitely need to do your own research as well. So just like I said in the beginning of this, um, so that's kind of why it does what it does inside of your body. Um, but I also just wanted to let you know that not everybody will respond extremely well to this. Just like with all things that you are going to take, there are hyper responders and there are non responders. If you are somebody who takes Cialis, you take five grams per day and or so, sorry, five milligrams per day. And you just find that it doesn't help you at all. Like you don't notice a difference at all. Stop taking it. It's not that big of a deal. I would not take it if I did not see such insane results from it and then there will be people like me that are going to experience it and it will be like a night and day difference between taking it versus not taking it um, and as with everything that you take every single supplement every single thing that you decide to put inside of your body make sure it's properly sourced research the pros and cons for yourself and then take the least amount to elicit the most amount of benefits. So five milligrams is what I personally have been taking. Don't just start all the way up at like 20 milligrams because you can take 20 milligrams per day. I do not recommend that. Don't do that. If you're one of those people that just loves jumping head first into things and taking the max dose, then, you know, doing these types of things, taking any sort of drug, taking any sort of supplement is probably not for you. So you need to start low and see what elicits the most amount of change, what gives you the most amount of benefits, and then hold that dosage. Don't feel like you need to bump it up. Then where you can you find this so where can you find a quality source of cialis um, the place that i personally got mine from since uh, cialis is not an over-the-counter medication you do either need a prescription from a doctor or to get it through um, a lab of some sort um, but half natties is where i got mine from so you can go to https um, colon backslash backslash half natties dot info backslash um, and you should be able to find their website it, they sell it for cheap on there and it is third-party tested um, I 
also have partnered with Half Natties. Um, so you can use code BDON for 15% off. If you plug that into the coupon section, it should automatically take 15% off of your order. Um, so you can feel free to use that. But one massive disclaimer that I wanted to include in here is that not everything on this site, this Half Natties site, is natural. In fact, most of it is not. So you will see like right here in the picture that I decided to use, you can see Tadalafil, you can also see MK677, you can see BPC157, the body protective compound. These are other compounds that are not natural. There are peptides in here that are not natural that if you take, you will not be able to compete in a natural bodybuilding and they can have a lot more negative side effects. This video is by no means promoting the other things that are on this site. I am solely using one of the products on this site. Um, and ultimately, I will not be taking anything that is considered a performance enhancing drug or may get, get me kicked out of a natural bodybuilding federation or cause me to fail a drug test. I'm a natural bodybuilder, just like I said at the beginning of this video, and I do intend to stay that way. So keep in mind, this is a disclaimer. There are plenty of things on that site that are banned by WADA, okay? So don't just go, just don't go to the website and mess around and buy a bunch of stuff that you don't want or that you've, that you haven't looked into before. All right. And if you want to, you can always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Brandon underscore C underscore Clark um, with quick questions. But one thing that I wanted to make very, very clear is that I will not advise you on PED or extra supplement usage unless you are a client of Brandon Clark and fitness coaching. Okay, now I get tons of DMs asking about MK677, asking about peptides, asking about Cialis. I will not advise you to take it. And in fact, I will not put together supplement recommendations for you. I will not tell you what PEDs to use and what dosage you should be using them. I will only advise that to people who are under my umbrella of coaching. Okay, so that's one thing that you have to understand is unless I am your coach, I will not advise you on any of this. If you want to ultimately apply for my coaching, you can feel free to go to brandonclarkfitness.com slash contact and you can submit an application just like everybody else. But like I said, this type of information, I will not advise people on. I recommend everybody stay natural and that everybody put research into even the natural supplements that they do decide to take. Now, if you are interested in my coaching, here's a list of everything that my coaching includes. You can give it a quick run through. Uh, and let me know, like I said, if you are interested, you can feel free to go to brandonclarkfitness.com and apply. Um, but ultimately, I just wanted to kind of break this down for you guys and tell you um, exactly why I've decided to start taking this and my experience with it so far. Um, so hopefully you guys learned a lot from this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it, drop a comment down below as well. Um, let me know what you guys think and if you guys have seen results from taking this exact supplement. Um, but other than that, have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.